Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a probability problem involving hypergeometric distribution. The problem says there are six grade 11 students and eight grade 12 students in a mathematics contest pool of a certain school. The school was invited to join a contest and exactly four members are required from each participating school. So this means that not all the members of the pool can go and join the contest. So A, if the school decides to join the contest, what is the probability that the team has at least two grade 11 students? And letter B, what is the expected number of grade 11 students that will be part of the team? This type of problem falls under hypergeometric distribution. The hypergeometric distribution is always the case of having two groups. And then you want to find a certain probability that when you form a subgroup, coming from the two groups. Your goal is to find a probability that part of this group will be in the team. Now in this case, our goal is that in letter A, we want to find the probability that if X is the random variable for the grade 11 students, we want it to be at least 2, so x must be greater than or equal to 2. In solving this probability, we have to take into consideration that the team should have 4 members. Now, if we want to, to have at least 2 grade 11 students, then that means this probability is probability that maybe there are two grade 11 students or there could be three grade 11 students or there could be or all of them are grade 11 students and that is the probability of x is equal to 4. In a hypergeometric distribution, to find a probability, one could make use of the formula p of x if x is the random variable. This is k c small x times capital N minus k c small n minus x over n combination or c small n. If we approach the problem this way, and this is the first time that you have seen a hypergeometric distribution probability question, then it will be or there's a high chance that you will be confused with the letters k, the small x, the n minus k, the n minus x, the capital N, and the small n. So what I will do here is that I want you to think of this as a simple probability question. And that is, the probability of a certain event x is equal to the one that you want. You have to count how many this is the event that you want over the sample space. How many in the sample space? And this is the basic formula, n of e, the cardinal of e over the cardinal of sample space s. So take note that in the problem, let's say, Although it says x is greater than or equal to 2, and it is expressed as x equals 2 plus p of x equals 3 plus p of x equals 4, let's say we want to find this part in which the probability is x is equal to 2. And later on, we'll do the same and find the probability when x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 4. But for this part alone, the probability that x is equal to 2 means we want to find the probability that exactly 2 are from grade 11 students. So this is the case of if you want 2 grade 11 students and there are 6 of them in the pool, that means you have to take 2 from the 6. And 
and also it says that the number of grade 12 students here is 8 so if you are forming a group of 4 and you have taken 2 grade 11 students then for the grade 12 students you must take 2 more so from the grade 12 which is composed of 8 students so again so this is the grade 11 group and this is the grade 12 group you're forming four members and you want exactly two from the grade 11 so that means there's two more to get from the group of grade 12 so this is the event that you want you want exactly two grade 11 students but what is a sample space the sample space is the number of possible outcomes in which you can form a group with four members since there are six grade 11 and there are eight grade 12 there's a total of 14 students and from 14 students you take four from them so this is for the sample space it's like given 14 students you want to form a group with four members just take 4 from 14, so 14 C4. Now to get the other probabilities, and that is on the probability that x is equal to 3, you just have to do the same process. This time from 6 grade 11 students, there must be 3 grade 11 taken times 8 C1 one to complete the four member team and this is over again 14 c4 and then finally the probability that x is equal to four means there are four grade 11 students so from six of them you take four but do not take any student from the group of grade 12 so that's zero over 14 c so what's left is to find the actual value of each probabili probability and then if you add all of them you will get the final probability which is the answer to the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 so what I want you to do get a calculator and compute for the values of these probabilities and let's see if you will get the same value as what I'm going to or what I will be getting from my computation. Okay, so in my calculator it says the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 is 0 0.5944 or 59.44%. That is the probability that there will be at least two grade 11 students if you form a four member team to join the contest okay now there's a follow-up question and that is on the expected number of grade 11 students that will be part of the team this task is more on well if you know the formula in finding the expected value for a hypergeometric distribution this is basically k times n over n so the expected value k is the number of members in which we set the random variables and that is the group of grade 11 so we have six grade 11 students and then we have n how many members in the group that we are going to form there's four so that's four and n is the total number of students that is six and eight we have 14 so if we compute this is 24 over 14 which you can simplify into so this is divisible by two you can have 12 over 7 and then 12 over 7 is 1.71 so this decimal value means 
the expected value is a number of grade 11 students to be expected in the team. So 1.71 is approximately 2. So we are expecting 2 grade 11 students on the average. Remember, the expected value is an average. We're expecting 2 grade 11 students whenever or when we form a group with four members to join the contest. So on the average, there's always, or there's, there are two students in the group. So that's how we solve a probability involving hypergeometric distributions. So you can make use of the formula or simply answer the probability using the basic concept on probability. My advice is if the formula will just confuse you on what to or what values you have to take to place in the different variables, then I would suggest you take it as if you're solving a simple probability question. Okay? So watch out for probability wherein it will require to get a number of probabilities, like in this case, we are not just concerned about a single x, but it says greater than or equal to 2. So we have from 2 to 3 and to 4. If this was just probability of x equals 2, then just get the p of x equals 2 and use the idea and find the value, and that's the probability. Okay, so I hope you are able to understand my explanation on how to solve an example of, of a probability involving hypergeometric distributions.